in some of your lessons, your teachers will be using a class notebook. So here I am in Teams again. So I'm in my computing lesson. At the top, I have a tab called Class Notebook. And when I click on that, it's going to show me all of my, um, my, my class notebook and all the resources that are in it. So when my class notebook opens up, I have a, an arrow on the left hand side and if I click on that it's going to show me the different sections within here. So here you, I will have, you will have your name and when you open that it will show you all the different sections inside your book where you're expected to do your work. Okay, so for example we're working on encryption so if I go to the encryption section I have an empty page over here so I can give that a title. So lesson one, uh, what is uh, encryption? and so on and so forth. And I can basically keep putting, adding on uh, resources and explanations and pictures and whatever else it is I want to do. I have um, all my tools available to me at the top. I can insert pictures, links, I can record audio. Um, you can do drawings. If you have a tablet at home, you can draw on it, etc. okay? Now, if I wanna add another page, I just need to click here, right click, new page and it will give me a new page and I can keep adding into that section. Now at the top I have a content library. Okay, in the content library that is where my teacher will organize sections. So if I click on encryption, here in encryption lesson one, it tells me here this section is read only because I as a student I'm not allowed to change this section. This is for my teacher to give me resources. Okay, and then if I'm doing group work finally I have a section over here called collaboration space where uh, I have, I can actually put um, pages and I can change things in here. And information that I put into the collaboration space will be visible to all other people in the group. So it's for me to do group work with, with my class, okay? And this is how to use the class notebook. You can open this notebook as well, okay, in the browser and it will open it up full. And you can also access it directly here from OneNote. So when I open up OneNote and it will show me my class notebooks. So this is my notebook from my computing lesson. And I can again open up that um, computing notebook and it will just give me a more expanded view of it and give me a little bit more space to work inside my notebook, okay? So I can access my class notebook in two places. Number one, I can access it from within the team from class notebook. Or number two, I can always go to the waffle and I can open up OneNote and then I can access my, my class notebook from OneNote. And then within my notebook, I have two sec three sections. The first section has my name on it at the bottom and that's where I put my work. Then I have the content library, which is where my teacher will share work with me. And then finally, I have a collaboration space, which may or may not be enabled by your teacher, which allows you to share resources and do group work with other people in your class.